a stress free. Uh, yeah, there you go. 13 months for next time. Yes. Already done. We'll go ahead. Go. All right. Uh, Jay, if you could just start us off, just your thoughts on starting the preseason. Yeah, I mean, um, me and Twads and you know, coaching staff talked to the group yesterday <clears throat> and just had said how locked in the group was the past couple of days. Um, way different than than last year. Even energy wise, I mean, girls coming in, coming in early. I mean, it's just a new energy. People are excited to be here. Um, people are excited to get going, get on the field. Everyone's so pumped about Pep. Like, I can't tell you, like, this offseason has just been a complete shift in energy for this group. And I think honestly, that was most important for us um going into this season and so we hit the ground running and then today obviously we're all excited to get back on the field because um you know the fitness and strength tests like <laughs> those aren't always fun but you got to get them done and then uh, now we'll be back on the field with each other and um we already have a, a really great group and we're all already meshing really well questions there's a lot of new faces joining the club this year obviously what do you see as your role in getting everyone up to speed on all things racing while maintaining what they can bring into the game? Yeah, I think, you know, last year um, we had a fantastic culture. You'll hear Bev say it. You'll hear the veteran players say it. Um, I think through the ups and downs, we maintain that, and that's very hard to do. Um, you know, whatever happened on the field, we always had each other off the field, and a lot of times you see groups fall apart, and um, we stuck together. So, we want to be able to to keep that this year. Um, you know, as Bev says, it's not going to be perfect. You know, even though this this coaching change was needed, and we're, we're so excited, it was it was Bev. Um, it's not going to be perfect this year. There's going to be ups and downs, and it's how do we maintain a constant level? We don't get too high, too low. Um, you'll hear Bev say that a lot. So, I think uh, you know, for for me and a lot of the other veteran players, it's it's how do we keep that constant, and. Um, you know, as a season, it's it's long, it's tiring for these new faces with rookies. I think um, just encouraging them to to lean on players, just because, like I said, we have such a special group, and um, I think it's easy to come in here and and to be able to do that as a as a new player. Um, and, and that's what we want in our environment, right? We we want to be just as solid off the field as we are on the field, because um, you know they they translate um, directly. So uh, you know, for me, that that's mainly important, but. You know, for, for Bev coming in <clears throat> as a new coach, um, as a new head coach, the, the exciting part is we already learned a lot of her philosophies and beliefs last year. So um, right now it's been, you know, kind of a, a seamless transition, I think, for a lot of us, just knowing her and already respecting her. Uh, you see on social media, you know, we'd run through a, ball, a, a wall for Bev. And um, it's it's nice to have a coach in there that, you know, you feel that way for. It's a lot, it, it's very easy to play for a coach where you already respect them and you want to play for them. Um, so yeah, this, this year, I think the group's really excited. And I think those are a couple of points that we're really looking to hit. Chill and the club and the fans are hungry for a playoff appearance and more. With the new faces you have on the roster, is it, is it doable this season? Absolutely. Um, Bev, Bev said it, the first meeting. Um, if you don't believe that, you know, we can make it all the way, then you're in the wrong place. And if you don't have a winning mentality, you're in the wrong place. And you know, I, I said it last year, I think that's a little bit what we were lacking at times. Um, it's just that ruthlessness is no matter what anybody says, you know, like we believe in ourselves and we have the group to do it. It's not just a belief. It's, you know, we we have the roster to do it. We have the personalities to do it. We have the coaching staff to do it. And and that's super important. You know, um, I, I think we've had a really good group for two, three years now. It's just how we can put it together tactically. And I think that's what Bev is going to do an amazing job at. Um, we were already so excited. We were coming out of two meetings and she's talking about, you know, how we were going to attack, how we we're going to defend the mentality and tactically, you know, what we want to do. We came out ready to go back on the field. So um, that's always a good sign. And we're just super excited for that. What does Taylor bring to the table? Oh, you know, she's okay, but <laughs> <laughs> no, I've known Taylor um, for a long time uh, growing up with her in youth national team camps. And um, it's always such a pleasure playing with her and uh, being her teammate on and off the field. And um, and she just she she brings a, a presence in the midfield. And that's what, um, you know, I love about her is she's able to win balls, but she's also very technical and she'll be able to connect the game for us 
Um, I'll have another person in there, hopefully winning headers with me. So that'll be nice. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, she just brings so many things, you know, not only um, on the field, but off the field as well. She's a great person, great teammate, and honestly, such a tremendous addition. We're so excited to have her. She's gelling with the group already so well. So will she be in the car with you and Savannah? <laughs> hey, she she could make a definitely a, a guest appearance. Um, that'd be really fun. We've all known each other a while, so it'd be interesting. <laughs> yeah, you guys obviously already had a, a midfield with you, Ari, Savannah. You had her in the mix, a couple other pieces. Just how excited are you guys for the potential of your position group to set us up? <laughs> yeah, I think, um, like you said last year, you know, we already had a one of the best midfields, but I mean, just to add, you know, Taylor, Marissa. Um, just a, a lot of these players and you got Kayla, you know, a young rookie uh, going into second year. Um, we just have depth now. And I think for us, it's just exciting. You know, we have competition. We can rotate, um, I think, not just in the midfield, but everywhere on the field now. And I think that's something, honestly, we've lacked in, in past years. So for us, it's just exciting because we get to play with a lot of new faces um, who bring a lot of different styles of play but we're all trying to play the same style of play. So that's what's fun about it. And um, I'm just super excited to be able to play with all of them. It's, you know, Bev always says, you know, you know, win games, you know, on the Friday, Saturday, it's the Monday to Friday. And um, how can we create an environment where it's competitive every day and um, bringing these girls in who are amazingly talented and that's what it does. And so hopefully when you go into the game, um, we've already had our competition, you know, in the week and we're prepared going into that game. We've all been through so much, but if we're persevering, gotten better every year. What's it going to take to take that next step to make a playoff run finally crack it? Yeah, I mean, you know, I already said it. I think in years past, we've actually had a really good group. Um, our culture has been very good. We've, you know, always had each other's back. You, you hear Bev say it's just a special group, and adding these new players is going to make it even more special. And um, I, I think the main thing for us is how do we translate that on the field? Um, you know, I think uh, everybody, we're a blue collar team. We like to work hard for each other. We like to, you know, put everything on the line. But um, end of the day, a lot of it comes down to um, being tactically prepared. And that's what Bev's going to give us. And, um, you know, in this league, every game's close. So you you need that edge. And I, I think last year, you know, um, we needed that. And Bev has, you know, already gained our respect just because we know her. But just what she's done even as head coach and, you know, how we want to play and already the little details she's explaining. It's going to be night and day for us. And as players, we just want to learn and grow, you know, every, every year. And Bev's going to help us do that individually, but also as a team. And so that's the exciting part. I think going into this year that we were missing is um, just having that tactical um, mastermind. And that's what Bev is. And, um, you know, we, ha we haven't interacted a lot with, other coaching staff, but um, so far they've been amazing too. So we're just super excited to get it going and we have the right group to do it. Um, we have the right coaching staff and, um, you know, we have the the right mentality right now. So uh, we're super excited. Jalen, you head on out. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you.